I praise and thank God for this beautiful opportunity that God has given us to come in his presence before his precious word. For our morning meditation, let's turn to Proverbs chapter 31 verses 21 and 22. She is not afraid of the snow for her household. For all her household are clothed with scarlet. She maketh herself coverings of tapestry. Her clothing is silk and purple. In the past days we were meditating upon the virtues of the woman that the spirit of the lord was defining before us in the holy scriptures and we were looking upon it as how it perfectly fits itself as the shadow of the church the bride of lord jesus christ and god wants each one of us to grow to that perfect person who is filled with these divine virtues so that in this dark world we can show forth the divine nature that will bring glory and honor to our heavenly father here in this scripture we can see how this woman carefully gathers things that is needed for the well-being of her household we meditated how she perceives that her merchandise is good but we need to remember that she is not the one who labors to fulfill her lustful desires she does not labor so that she can gather wealth and enjoy her pleasures but she labors with that zeal that her household does not lack anything that they need she knows as winter is approaching everyone needs clothes to keep themselves warm and as the pillar of the family the one who cares for each one needs herself prepares clothes for everyone so neither she nor her household fears winter as they are self sufficient by the labor of her hand How blessed is the family who has a responsible person the one with a loving heart is there to care for each one's needs the scripture says she has no fear of winter for her household for everyone has warm clothes and some translations define it as she does not fear for her family when it snows because her whole family has a double layer of clothing they have double layer of clothing or they have double garment That means she is prepared even for the worst situation when cold may increase beyond their expectations. She has prepared things that is needed with the labor of her own hands. That is how the wisdom of God equips a person to be prepared for the future. She is not laboring hard whole day till late night just to gather wealth for her household, but she is laboring so that she can help her household to face each day and each situation without fear they need not worry about the sudden calamity that may come upon them they are self sufficient in everything in food and in clothing also we have meditated how the spirit of the lord warns us to learn from the ant that labor hard and gather food for the future they are not lazy and begin to worry all of a sudden it is the same with this woman She knows she will not get enough time to make warm clothes when the climate worsens all of a sudden. So she prepares in advance the things that her household needs. I think maybe in the daytime she is laboring in the vineyard and is busy with her merchandise. Until late in the night she may be working in the spindle making clothes and quilts for her household. And look at the clothes that she wears. She is not the one who will dress like the one who just seems to be laboring hard she is the one who is in a high position as she does merchandise with people and as maids under her care so she knows how to present herself before others she does not adorn herself with all those expensive ornaments to show her wealth as some people do but she knows how to keep her position before others it may bring honor to her family And the important thing is while wearing these beautiful gowns she is not ashamed to labor hard the whole day and night. And that is the good quality of a child of God, the chosen one to be the bride of Christ. Though hairs of almighty God, the creator of the whole universe, the children of God are ready to serve others with that loving heart just like their heavenly father. A child of God though he has received all the spiritual blessings of heaven still is so humble at heart and will be ready to minister to the needs of the people he will take care of his household and will take care of the future needs 
Yes, we need to labor for our present physical needs. But more than that, we need to take care of our spiritual needs that is much needed for our precious souls. We need to encourage and comfort each other so that everyone who is part of the church may prepare themselves for the life in eternity. We need to live in this world with that dignity that we are the children of the Holy Almighty God. It does not mean that we have to wear costly dress and ornaments to adorn ourselves. But as the scripture says, we need to adorn ourselves with the beauty of holiness which will reflect the glory of God. It will bring honor and glory to our Heavenly Father. Lord Jesus lived in this world as a normal person. Nothing outwardly to show off as many so-called ministers do with all their wealth and manpower, living like kings in the name of Lord Jesus. In Lord Jesus, the world saw the glory of God. This evil world could not spill any impurity upon Him. He was holy and pure till the end in this evil and wicked world. May the Lord help us also to live a holy life in this world and labor hard to work out our salvation so that the blessed life in eternity may bring glory to God. May the Lord help us for that. Let us pray. Father, we praise you and thank you for this beautiful time that you have given us and thank you for your precious word, Master. Thank you, Lord, for teaching us how careful we have to be, how wise we have to be. As your coming draws nearer, help us to grow to that maturity so that people may see your glory and realize your love and care. Thank you, Lord, for speaking to us. Help us to be responsible. We give you all glory and honor. In Jesus' most holy name we pray. Amen. May God bless each one of us. Our Lord is coming very soon. Maranatha.